Grape juice. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm Anya, as you heard Mayhar say, but I like to go by a neurotic little one on most of my things. And first, I'm going to sing you an a cappella song called Lost Boy by Ruth B. Help me. <laughs> there was a time I was alone. Nowhere to go and no place to call home. My only friend was the man in the moon. Even sometimes he would go away too. Then one night as I closed my eyes, I saw a shadow flying high. He came to me with the sweetest smile, told me he wanted to talk for a while. He said, Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you'll never be lonely and ever since that day. I am a lost boy from Neverland, usually hanging out with Peter Pan. And when we're bored, we play in the woods, always on the run from Captain Hook. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me, away from all love. Reality. Neverland is home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Neverland is home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. He sprinkled me in pixie dust and told me to believe, believe in him and believe in me. Together we will fly away in a cloud of green to your beautiful destiny. As I soared above the town that never loved me, I realized I finally had a family. Soon enough we reached Neverland, peacefully my feet hit the sand and never since that day. I am a lost boy from Neverland, usually hanging out with Peter Pan. And when we're bored, we play in the woods, always on the run from Captain Hook. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me, away from all love, reality. Neverland is home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Neverland is home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Wendy, and Darling, even Captain Hook, you are my perfect storybook. Neverland, I love you so, you are now my home sweet home forever, a lost boy at last. Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Wendy, and Darling, even Captain Hook, you are my perfect storybook. Neverland, I love you so, you are now my home sweet home forever, a lost boy at last. And for always, I will say, I am a lost boy from Neverland, usually hanging out with Peter Pan. And when we're bored, we play in the woods, always on the run from Captain Hook. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me, away from all love, reality. Neverland is home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Neverland is home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story. I didn't plan on telling you this, but before I came on stage, I was literally having a major panic attack. And it was horrible. But that's actually what I'm going to be talking about. So that's fun, right? Connections. See what I did there, teacher? Te teacher? Yes. <laughs> Language arts teacher of any... Okay. Well, tough crowd. Again. <laughs> there were only four people last night, and I still couldn't make a mouth. I mean, four people, guys. What the heart? <laughs> okay, so... You know what? I don't have a shoot of throw at you today. Shh. <clears throat> so, what does a panic attack look like? What does it feel like? Well, to me, it feels like I can't breathe without throwing up. Even though it's not going to happen, it's absolutely terrifying. Because when you're anorexic and you have nothing in your stomach except for stomach acid, it's not going to be pleasant to throw up. But sometimes a panic attack will feel like your lung Lungs are collapsing. <laughs> that might not make the most sense, but try holding your breath for as long as possible. 
Having fun? Now when you start breathing again, imagine not having the, the sensation of doing so. Think about grasping at air, hoping to touch something, like dust, and never reaching it, but always seeing it there. Okay, now that we've got you all a little focused, I'm going to completely bombard you with several different crappy puns and stories of a girl who claims to know nothing, although she's seen everything. In case you haven't realized by now, the girl I'm speaking about is me. Yeah, here's where you gasp and act surprised. Why, thank you. I'm going to keep talking in the third person, but just listen and think. She's the kind of girl who used to be healthy, who was wide-eyed and curious about the world. Now she is sick, her eyes slowly sinking in, scarred by the world's truths. All the torment of being younger than a teenager when that light was dimmed brought out a torrent of bad things. They dimmed her light so much that she is now no more than a candle flickering. Her emotions in that torrent have made her that lady running down to the riptide, taking away to the dark side. But all she wants is someone to say, oh, why you look so sad, the tears are in your eyes. Come on and come to me now. Don't be ashamed to cry. Let me see you through, because I have seen the dark times too. But she didn't get that, because no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't carry the world on her shoulders. Now, to carry the weight of the world, you must first be able to carry yourself. And that was her problem. She couldn't carry herself. Life had pushed her down so many times that whenever it did, she just sat there, unwilling to do anything. At one point, she'd been pushed down so many times, she decided to give up on her dreams, which left an empty space. That empty space could then be filled with the most volatile substances and addictions. Some of these include drugs or becoming an alcoholic. Even for a person without a chemical imbalance, these things have a great effect. A horribly great effect. Not great, no effect. <laughs> now what? <laughs> now I'll explain a drug such as to make sure you understand. So dope is named dope because it raises your dopamine levels, which is the happy hormone in your brain. And whenever you take it, it raises them to what they shouldn't be. And so when it wears off, you have less dopamine than you should, so you feel sad. Like, meh. like when you wake up in the morning to go to school. <laughs> so you want to take more to feel better, and you just start that cycle over and over again because it keeps doing the same thing, and you eventually mess yourself up so bad that you can't get out of it. How would you feel if someone you cared about got into that cycle? Because somewhere in America, an 11-year-old is depressed and scared because her stepfather has been touching her. No one cares that she doesn't eat because she is too scared to tell them. She has four options. Option one. Tell someone, hope they care, and help her escape or get help. Option two, start doing drugs, which wouldn't be hard to get in her household to rid herself of suffering. Option three, do nothing, stay in that cycle. Option four, kill herself by hanging herself from her curtains and jumping out of a window, wondering if anyone could care. Now tell me, if you were her, which option would you choose, as scared and alone as she? Would you honestly choose option number one to get help? Raise your hand if you would choose option number one. Option number two, drugs. Option three, do nothing. Option four, who would honestly say they would kill themselves? That little girl chose one, but only because someone asked her her grandmother, who's sitting in the crowd right now. <laughs> but after that, for a while, she still wanted to choose option four, even after she was free. Now she's getting better. She is proud and will help anyone in need, no matter what. She may not be completely healed, but now she has dreams, a sparkle in her eyes, hope, love, and friendship. But wait, there's more. 
So next I'm going to read a poem, and then I'm going to sing another song. And the next song is a sing-along. You better all sing, because I know you know it. Uh -huh. okay. There's a girl and a boy everywhere today with very little hope, absolutely no faith. They feel they are soulless, worthless, and broken, but shall they ever come together with words unspoken? They may heal each other with no knowledge of doing so, in a special way that comes with being close. Or maybe just one will heal the other and treat each other as sister and brother, or lover and lover. Unspoken vows of the heart's most content, holding a secret wish to vent the pain away, hard to sway the girl's heart, even if the boy were to stray. But as one said in a hidden language, only the good get hurt and feel anguish, but it shall be replaced one day somehow, never know without a final bow.